We want to give a big shout out to our friends at Stryker for sponsoring this video. I just visited their global headquarters in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and wow, this leading medical manufacturer has state-of-the-art workplaces, provides top pay, and even has a housing stipend for their interns. Learn more about how Stryker supports their employees who are in first by going to careers.stryker.com forward slash first. Yeah. Let's, get right back. Let's get right back into it. And uh, in the fifth spot is team 33-39. From Kafar Yana Hamarkez, Israel, it's Bumblebee. An overall record of 14-3, and three, and they were the winners of the Israel number 2 event. So Bumblebee entered the season after a finals appearance at the Israel Championship, a district championship last year, and they actually won this regional last year as well, the number 2. Uh, so they would end up um, seated second and would, would be selected by their buddies, um, <clears throat> who we 1690, who we might hear about in just a little bit. <laughs> Maybe. They are a little bot with swerve and a great ground intake. It can shoot from um, the initiation line as well as in the trench. So just another um, another team that just gives themselves multiple angles um, and spots in the field where they can score from. Just another great season so far, another great robot for 33-39. Uh, they'll compete again next weekend at the Israel number 4 event, so good luck to them. Yeah, once again, Israeli teams just coming in uh, super hot, super awesome. This this duo between 33-39 and 16-90 was yeah. just amazing like you put this in any other event uh in the states or canada or anything like that and they're winning yeah. um it, yeah. it, it the it's just not so how, how awesome these two teams combined are love bumblebee we've been talking about them for a really long time uh i'm big fans of their team i know they get we they have we have quite a few fans of theirs as well too uh so congrats to them on a, on a great win uh at their uh, isr2 event yeah, for sure. Well said. All right, so moving on to number four, Chris, um, Justin's going to keep doing. Justin's going to tell us about team sixteen nineteen from Longmont, Colorado, Upper Creek Robotics, fourteen and one overall, and with winners the Great Northern Regional. So sixteen nineteen is one of the best intakes and the consistent shooters of the teams uh, I had this week. They aren't the fastest shooter, right? They're not one eighty eight, but they rarely miss. They are extremely accurate. They can quickly cycle, uh, and their turret locks onto the. So the goal is super, super fast. Uh, they seem comfortable playing up front, uh, as well as keeping the feedback loop uh, from their opponents going. Uh, their climber is a wide telescoping mechanism that climbs fast and keeps the robot stable. I have to admit, when I saw the robot release video, I was a little iffy on the robot. Um, it didn't have the, necessarily the wow factor that I saw from them in their release video last year, and they followed up with their robot. But they definitely have a great robot. They've been working on it clearly since their um, release video. It's another awesome uh, robot, an event win for 1619. You can watch them again. Week four at the Colorado Regional. I actually had the opposite reaction, by the way. Like their, really? yeah, like their 2018 robot. I, I wasn't a big fan of like that intake uh, that they had, and it, I, I think their 2019 looked better. But I, I actually saw this year's. So I'm like, I, I don't know. I, I had a better feeling. Of it. Now, I th now videography wise, I think they lost their lead videographer. But if whoever took yeah. their place is still making awesome videos. Mm -hmm. uh, so props to them on that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, 1619. Uh, if you watched Best of the West yesterday, uh, ended up ranking like six in the Best of the West region because they played in Great Northern. Um, so I, I don't think they got a lot of attention from people in the West, but mm -hmm. definitely the rest of the FRC community uh, witnessed them and saw them and uh, definitely well-deserved in the number four spot. For sure. Absolutely. All right, moving along. Uh, in the third spot, Christine's going to talk about 1690. Yeah, sounds like 1619, but it is 1690. And they Ooh. are from, and I'm probably going to botch this, so I apologize, Binyamina Hasafan, Israel? Sure. Justin, I feel like you've had to say this before. Oh, yeah. That sounds good. Um, right. I feel like I'm just going to like cue to you next time when I'm, <laughs> when I'm feeling like I have no idea how to pronounce something. So it's obviously Orbit with an overall record of 18-0, and 0, undefeated. A lot of really undefeated teams this week one. Pretty yeah. epic. So they were the winners of the Israel number, that was the number two uh, event, number two. right? Yep. Number two, um, and winners of the Excellence in Engineering Award. So they captained the number one alliance, winning their first blue banner with 33-39 Bumblebee, along with Phoenix 56-54 and Pegasus 60-49. So they were insanely smooth and consistent. I love this robot and can't wait to see them get better. I know I've been saying that about a lot of my teams, but like, I mean, they everybody just talked about it. The teams in Israel are just getting better and better and better every year. So it's really cool to see them come out week one looking this strong. Um, it was especially awesome. I know we mentioned it before, but with the, with these events being on earlier in the week, um, it was really cool to see people really hyper-focused on those webcasts and watching these teams kind of debut. So they will be competing um, week three at the Israel number three event, and I'm excited to see kind of what they pull out there. I know it's not a ton of time in between events for them to 
make too many improvements, but I think strategically and just driver practice, they're going to get way, way better even, you know, before that event um, and their district championship and probably most likely Houston. Um, really great point that I noticed this really too from Necro Creature. Uh, believe it or not, this is the first event they've won since 2016, Justin, uh, when they won Aww. the division with you guys and were Einstein finalists. That was the last really? time they've won an event. Crazy. Really? Yep. Really? Would have really? never thought that, wow. right? Yeah. Um, but wow. 1690 back on top in Israel and one of the best teams in the world, if not the best team uh, in the world. This this rollout is just so good. Uh, the, the reveal video they had when they came out, wow, uh, absolutely incredible. Love this team. Can't mm-hmm. wait to see uh, what they do, you know, once they get the, of course, ISR champs. And then uh, hopefully if the team's able to travel to uh, Worlds uh, with everything going on, uh, I'd mm-hmm. love to see that bot in person because it is a sexy mm-hmm. robot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and just to close out, like, the discussion about them, it was re- like when you watch Finals 2, I know that the like the people that run the events in Israel are a really tight knit community, but you can tell that they're all like really pumped for this. Like I think for their district and for their community, it must have been a really cool moment, especially for the teams. Like it must have been a really cool moment for Bumblebee and Orbit to win together at that event. So. So while we move into our next spot, we're going to uh, give a big thank you to our friends at Striker for sponsoring uh, this show. Uh, Striker guys, uh, awesome company that has stepped up, and really they've stepped up for a big reason. They have people who are in first, who work at Striker right now, who have awesome jobs, who get paid a butt ton of money, and who actually get to keep doing first freely. Uh, I mean, I'm sure you can't just skip work every day to do first, but uh, if you know some of the people that, that work for Striker that do first, they really do support you in doing that. So if you're looking for a fantastic career uh, that supports you being in first, uh, internships, they'll cover your housing, they pay really well for it, careers, no matter where you are, intro career, later on, they have careers all around the world, headquartered in Kalamazoo, Michigan, but all around the world you can get things. Uh, go check out their Strikers Careers blog, or you can find out uh, more about how they support FIRST at careers.strykr.com forward slash FIRST. And thanks a lot to Striker uh, for keeping fun, loud, live, independent, because they're super cool with us doing what we do. And that's mm-hmm. a big thing when we bring on sponsors is that we want sponsors that are going to, uh, we know are going to benefit the FIRST community, but then are also going to let us keep doing what we do and not say, thou shall say this and thou shall do it this way. <laughs> um, so that's that's why we really do like Striker because they're like, you know what, you guys do what you do. Uh, we, we just love, uh, we love FIRST and we love what you guys do for FIRST. So so big thanks to Striker uh, for all their support uh, here, especially on the FRC Top 25. To the drama. Our next team. The drama. Yo, well, I just want to say we just did a Twitch FIFA. poll, by the way, and uh, we asked. I put in what two teams are going to be one and two, and the chat uh, felt that 1678 was going to be number one over 973. So, guys, with the drama in the two spot, who's it going to be? All right, Mike, why don't you tell us about 973? <laughs> From Atescadero, California, and Atescadero High School, it's the Greybots, an overall record of 16-2, and two, and they were the winners of the Los Angeles, Los, Los Angeles North Regional. So coming off the Houston Championship win last year, so many eyes were on this Los Angeles Regional uh, this past weekend. The Greybots would take that number one seed with a 10-1 and one record and 2.36 ranking score average and would top out at 302 points um, and seven final match number two. They are a tall bot, uh, but with a quick intake and, sc- and can score from all around the field at all angles. And they do it quickly at that too. So just an, yet again, just an awesome bot from them. And um, I know you guys have, um, I've already said that you had watched um, LA uh, mm-hmm. this past weekend. So what else can, what else can you tell us about gray bots? I'll, I'll jump in. I mean, the gray bots uh, there. I love uh, their auto scheme has been very, very accurate. It looks like they do, most of the same auto most of the time, at least in the uh, elims that I saw with uh, with Citrus, because uh, Citrus seemed to have a very uh, diverse auto. One thing I loved about 973 uh, is just that it pretty much just seemed that no matter what range they were shooting from, they did well. They did seem to shoot a lot from the uh, from the initiation line, seemed to be kind of their primary area. So I'm a little bit concerned about how harassed they might get. Like last year, if you remember, the robot just got pushed around everywhere. Uh, so... Uh, be interesting to see if they can start to kind of back that up a bit more, maybe to get into some more safe zones that way. But when they were accurate, one of the things that I love about their bot, if you watch them, and hopefully it'll show here soon, is that the second they get set, they're able to fire. And unlike a lot of teams where they have to, like, mm-hmm. get set, am I for sure there, wait a couple seconds, and then start the you know start it going. 
973 was able to just right in spot, fire, able to go. And I think that's a big strategic advantage of that team is that they just get where they need to go, uh, and it looks really good. Um, so we'll see We'll see how it is. You saw 973 there, able to go back uh, to the front of the trench um, and get some good accuracy there too. So I was a little surprised that wasn't more of their strategy uh, throughout the match. But uh, nonetheless, once again, 973, absolutely fantastic. Uh, Qualls uh, absolutely dominated, uh, working out well with Citrus. Um, I, I guess I'll give my opinion in Citrus, and I'll hold that for, for a moment as well too. But uh, big props to 973 uh, back, looking like uh, defending world champions the way they should be. Yeah. And um, coming up, they'll be at Central Valley um, next, which is just going to be another uh, another event that is just going to be all eyes on deck for that one too. So, uh, congratulations, nine seventy three. All right, and with no surprise here, our number one team, Justin's going to tell us about sixteen seventy eight. From Davis, California, Davis Senior High School, it's the Citrus Circuits, fourteen and four overall, and we're the winners of the LA North Regional. So there's been some disagreements and discussion about some of the teams on this list, where they should be, should they be there. I don't think anyone has a problem with 1670 in the top spot. FRC is a design challenge, and the 10-ball auto was just an insane accomplishment from 1678. Their tally-up game is just as strong, and I love watching their spin decks, or if you haven't seen it yet, swirl those balls around until they're ready to unleash them at the goal. It's just an awesome robot. It come, came together so well. Um, their climb is super effective, and though I don't think their buddy lift is quite perfect yet, uh, I think what we saw this past weekend from Citrus is more of the floor of the robot than the ceiling so incredible robot once again you can watch them continue their season week three at the st louis regional and congrats to 1678 the citrus circuits week one frc top 25 yeah it was great seeing them and they were on a premiere night uh we saw them their um uncensored video of the robots that just kind of started <laughs> the hype there so uh it was just really great seeing them in 973 um just really working in sync there at, at los angeles all right, so hear me out here, guys. I know some people are like, you know, 973 should be higher. Um, so here's what I agree on. 973 was a better robot in Qualls. Um, I, I think Citrus ended up uh, doing better. Now, Citrus was not defended against, and that is a big uh, if, but 973 to me uh, was not able to intake as fast. I, uh, Citrus to me, with how quick that intake is and able to go low, I think it's able to do faster cycle times. And I think overall, uh, it, it just out edges 973 by a little bit in, in my, in my opinion, in regards to the versatility, it's nothing against 973. I think the robot is absolutely fantastic, but to me, uh, citrus with, as you mentioned, Mike, the autonomous mode that they had, uh, and the way that that went, um, just seemed like they could go practically anywhere that they chose, uh, and able to get just those super quick cycles with that really slick intake to me is what takes the cake on this, but, uh, well-deserved, uh, 1678, well-deserved to 973 for both these teams, uh, and, and four, and then also their, uh, they had a backup robot coming, I think their last match as well too, uh, for an absolutely phenomenal, uh, competition. I mean, all eyeballs were on LA North. I mean, uh, when that was ending, everybody was watching that super awesome. Yeah. Yeah, and that point that you made earlier, Tyler, about them just being ready to shoot as soon as they stop, like one of the clips we just saw, it was nuts. It was like they barely had even stopped, and there were there were balls already in the goal. So yeah. that just amazes me. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean that's what you have to do. Now, I, I don't recall I don't recall sixteen seventy eight showing off their buddy climb uh, at all. I don't know if they tried it or not. I, I know I saw uh, three fifty nine uh, doing their buddy trying out their buddy climb. Actually, I think they got a red card over something on that, which was pretty awful, but uh, I, I don't know. Did anybody see Citrus Circuits do their buddy climb? I watched I watched They're some matches. Sky Sky says they, they tried. Um, so uh, it would be cool to see if we can see that implemented more uh, if it's needed. I mean, we'll see. Maybe teams get so good that they, they won't even need it. That's what I'm thinking, but we'll see. Yeah. Fingers crossed. All right, let's go ahead and Sweet. draw for the yeah. uh, Annie Mark uh, yeah. giveaway as we wrap up here. Uh, congratulations once again to our winner, 1678 uh, Citrus Circuits. Uh, don't forget to vote on the FRC Top 25, guys. Um, so uh, once again, the uh, keyword uh, for that was uh, AM Gearbox to win the uh, Sport 2 uh, Gearbox. And I think you'll get a choice on the output shaft. So if you do win, let us know uh, which one you want uh, on there. Um, so the winner of that is going to be uh, somebody that is definitely not going to win it because they're not following. 
and they uh, <laughs> were trolls in chat. So guess what? Rerolled. Uh, Kim Bob, 18. Congratulations, hey, hey, Kim hey, Bob. Hey. Not a follower. Guys, this is just not a night for subscribers tonight. Wow. And that happens. You can win without uh, as long as you follow. But, you know, the first person was not following, so you don't get the win. Isn't that sad? Um, so with that said, uh, thanks again to Annie Mark uh, for the awesome giveaways. Guys, we have all sorts of giveaways during a bunch of shows. Uh, next week during the region recaps, Rev's doing a takeover. Uh, Annie Mark is back uh, on the FRC Top 25, Sword Drive Specialties, Thrifty Bot, Analog Devices, uh, and more uh, giveaways that we're doing throughout this, uh, both for FRC and FTC as well. Mm -hmm. All right. So that is going to wrap it up for FRC Top 25 Week 1. So great job to everybody. It was an insane Week 1. I feel like it was probably one of the best Week 1 debuts yeah. that we've seen probably ever. Yeah. Um, so remember that all voting will open on Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern and run through Monday at 4 p.m. Eastern. And you can only vote for teams who played in the previous week. So make sure that you get others to vote and check both our Discord and Chief Del 5 for teams who were further down the list. All right. So, yeah, with that being said, week one is coming, is is close. So week two is ahead. And uh, what events um, maybe are you looking forward to, Justin? I'm taking the easy way out. Uh, I'm just going <laughs> to go the first in Texas district event, Plano, 148 and 118. Let's go. I can't yeah. wait. Yeah, that's so true. Uh, Christine, Tyler? Yeah, I'm excited for Plano. Um, definitely going to be a good one to watch. Neutrons are competing um, at a district at Mount Olive down in Mars. So I'm excited for that to happen. And Istanbul is happening and yeah. jamie is there so i'm excited guys for there are 100 she... teams in istanbul by the way if you want to talk yeah. about, you want to talk about growth her. holy crap i know so, that's crazy she wow. said that so or not uh, istanbul jamie... in, in turkey i should say yes so both jamie and frank are over there and jamie said that there are so many rookie teams at this event specifically and there are so many different countries represented so she was pumped when she found out that um that was part of her kind of travel for the season so i'm excited to see um how that event goes and then hear about it later on from her. Uh, I'm going to go with the clip. Oh, go ahead, Tyler. No, I was going to say, uh, I'll be watching a, a few events. Uh, Northern Lights Regional, my old team, 2026, will be competing this weekend, so good luck to them and shout out to them. I will be at the Midwest Regional on Saturday uh, filming a bunch of Behind the Bumper. So if you see me down there, see the big dude with the spinny hat, please come say hi um, for any of us, by the way. We'd love to talk to you. Um, love to hear that you watch the show or um, things that, you know, we're always open to. If you, you have things that you're like, hey, I wish you guys did this better, we're here to talk to you. And we, we, we're always up for improving our content. Uh, but always you just want to tell us about your team tell us about what's going on we'd love to hear it please come say hi uh selfies uh if you want autographs some kids do uh we'll do all that <laughs> stuff that i know it's it's always a weird thing to say but uh but but seriously i mean we're we're here we'd love we'd love to talk to you and talk about your team and talk about your robot and uh i'll probably be grabbing uh probably about uh, uh six to ten behind the bumpers i'll be there with my wife and actually my three-month-year-old who we have some hey. special headphones for uh uh -huh. there were the headphones uh earmuffs so if you see us down there please come say hi at the midwest regional I was gonna. I didn't know you were gonna be at Midwest. I was gonna. I, I was gonna say Midwest because there's uh, some good teams that are gonna be there. Uh, Wild Sting, sixteen twenty five innovation. Uh, Argos will be there. Yeah. Really, they are really strong. Argos, my, Argos, my favorite for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And twenty twenty two and and Ponage and so on and so forth. So, very cool. It's gonna be another exciting week. Absolutely. So with that said, thank you to everybody who's watched. Of course, you want more first robots in your life. Hey guys, just come check out fun. We have tons of content for you, both live and archived behind the bumpers, clips of the week, region recaps, FTC shows all here for you. Fun is all about creating content for those who are in first from those who are actively involved in the program. Uh, that's what we're here for. We want to create content that you're interested in winning and going that route uh, as well too. So thank you everybody with that. Uh, thank you everybody who's uh, supported the stream. Uh, big, uh, some big shout outs. I'm going to try to go quick on this because we had a lot of people uh, since yesterday. Uh, so Matt 15, 11, Cecilia's 1073, Red Leader 342 uh, with nine months of support. Thank you for that. And uh, 342 bits and some uh, gifted subs. Matt Boehm uh, giving out 10 subs yesterday. Uh, Gr oh. Gorilla 53, um, anonymous gifter giving software due to sub when he couldn't sub at the time. It was awesome about the community. Uh, Ajilara uh, with the prime sub, MJ2758 with prime sub, us the people prime sub, PJ 27 months support, exalted one eight months uh, with a bunch of bits as well too. Splashy flame four months of support. Noobtastic uh, giving out five subs. Uh, thanks a lot, man, for that. Uh, so super cool with that. Uh, Robo Greg coming in with a couple uh, bits. 
Uh, Nick Mathis, 4130. Uh, Road, 57. Uh, Rubis uh, with the prime sub. Uh, Connor coming in with 313 bits there. Uh, even more <laughs> around. So thank you, everybody. Uh, if I miss anybody, sorry about that. But uh, definitely thank you so much for keeping us loud, live, independent. We're actually uh, 17 subs away from a new emote. Uh, so if you have any uh, hey, ideas oh. for a new emote, please post in our Discord. Uh, that's the best place. We have over 2,500 people uh, in a Discord. I know I just took uh, somebody's line there. But yeah, over 2,500, uh, come join the community and speak with us. Yeah, make sure you check us out on uh, first at first address uh, at first updates now <laughs> on Facebook, Instagram, um, and Twitter as well. Um, we occasionally post from our FRC Top Twenty Five Twitter <laughs> as well. Um, so just on behalf of myself, Christine, uh, Justin, and Tyler, I would like to thank you guys all for tuning in, and thank you to all our moderators in chat. And good luck to all teams competing in Week Two, and we'll see you next time on Fun, and we'll talk to you guys then. Good night, guys. Bye. See you. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.